Hi everyone, this is Selena Krauss and welcome to another card video. In this video I'm featuring the new July Hero Art, my monthly hero uh, kit. As well I will show you how to put those scraps that you have in your stack to use. As well I will show you how to line up your panels using um, the Misty tool. It's very simple so let's get started. So I'm using the kit. This is the stamp set that comes in the kit. It's six by eight kit and there are a lot of fun uh, county fair images along with a bunch of sentiments. They can uh, be used for um, a plenty of occasions. So here's the one sample that I did with little strips of paper. I cut them to pretty much one quarter inch long and I have a couple, I'll make a few more cards. I have a couple panels that measure um, four and a quarter by five and a half and one longer that I'll do on the end uh, for a little bit more interest, a little bit different uh, pattern kind of broken out strips. So I'm starting with applying um, sticky adhesive to the cardstock panels. So I'm kind of burnishing that um, with uh, my bone folder. I'm using a Teflon bone folder here. And you can use any bone folder or can even use credit card or those uh, kind of sample credit cards you get in the mail. So I'm pretty quickly applying um, that sticky adhesive and then I will start applying the strips. You see here I have plenty already cut out so um, I won't be boring you uh, cutting strips and doing the YouTube video. And my strips are eight and a half by uh, one quarter inch wide. So let's get started. I'm just picking which colors I want to use and I'll be using some oranges, yellows, um, pool and some uh, green. I'm using the pool layering papers, the sunshine layering papers and foil, foilage uh, layering papers. So I'm uh, you will want to remove only half of that um, sticky adhesive so you don't get uh, your hands don't uh, keep sticking to um, the adhesive so you want to uh, you will want to adhere those very close to each other just be careful um, don't press too hard until you're sure where uh, those strips uh, that they're lined up actually so I just finished that half and I'm trimming with my scissors the ends and then the longer ends you can uh, reuse for those uh, shorter sides towards the edges. So I turn my panel around here and I'm, uh, I'm removing the whole um, backing of the sticky adhesive and I'm continuing to layer those um, uh, strips. So I'm finishing up here you saw how I use those small ones for the edges there and I'll just trim it around to size of the panel so I have one more edge here and here's that panel is done and I'll go over um, with my bone folder to burnish it again to make sure that everything is nice in place so next I'm uh, picking out different colors. I'm using the darker pool, uh, some pink and white. And again, you will want to remove half of that uh, pan of that backing and then apply your strips on the exposed uh, adhesive area going from the center towards the corner. And then turn it around and do the same on the other half and then just trim it with your scissors as well you can use your paper trimmer I think that for me it's easier with the scissors so those are the three panels and next we have the longer one we'll repeat the same process here just we'll have a longer panel so we'll use more strips and I'm using here pool greens uh, yellows and whites again I'm removing about half of that backing and starting to apply the adhere those strips from the center up and then from the center down or, or turn your panel lights against from the center up. Next trim those down, trim the edges down 
and uh, trim it on your trimmer then I decided to cut um, one inch strips so that gave me a panel of four inches so for the length for the height of the panel because we have um, four inches width I went with five and one quarter inch of height so I trim a stick it adhesive to that size and then adhere it to my uh, white cardstock panel and then trim it trim the panel down to four by five and a quarter and next I will just adhere those strips kind of offset them for three uh, for two uh, strips and then just trim to size again so we have the four panels and next we'll move putting the cards together here I already have die cut um, stamped and embossed the ferris wheel onto big cardstock and I'll stamp the fence and the sentiment uh, the sentiment says you make uh, the world go round so I'm using my misty here I'm lining up that uh, fence uh, towards the bottom I'll apply some anti-static uh, powder onto my image and then stamp with Versamark and emboss with Hero Arts white embossing powder and then heat set it so that's uh, done next we'll stamp the sentiment I'm positioning where I want the ferris wheel to be and uh, with that I'll determine where I want the sentiment to go so here I had to clean my stamp and again I'm apply applying that anti-static powder pouch onto the panel and some white embossing powder heat setting it and next you notice I had some white clouds I used the cloud um, infinity dies to cut the three of the smallest clouds several times because I'll be using on all four cards so I'm adhering the ferris wheel with uh, some dimensional uh, dots as well the clouds so we have two kind of larger and one tiny cloud next I'm positioning it onto the panel to see if I like it it looks pretty good just trimming uh, what come gets out of the borders of that panel and I'll be using some mounting tape 3d mounting tape to or foam mounting tape to adhere that uh, image panel onto my um, stripe panel so here I'm using the grid of the misty to make sure that both sides are um, equal that equal what and I'm applying some um, sparkle pen to the clouds to add a little bit extra interest to my card and the next step will be to adhere that panel onto a note card here I'm using my misty to slide that note card into the uh, on the edge there and I'll cover it up in adhesive and then use that um, edge of the misty as a guide to perfectly line up onto um, my note card next we'll do the merry-go-round or the carousel card I'll stamp the enjoy the ride again with Versamark and then emboss with white embossing powder heat set it with the Wagner um, heat tool I'll adhere the image and the clouds again I'm using mounting tape or little foam dots whichever you have will work just fine and then trim the ends that are going over the panel again I'll apply the sparkle pen like we did on the previous card and using the foam tape I'll adhere my panel onto the stripes panel next I'll use some Nuvo deluxe adhesive to adhere it onto a white note card so next uh, let's move to the roller coaster card so I have the roller coaster onto orange uh, paper stamped emboss and cut, uh, die cut 
then I'm uh, positioning that uh, sentiment. I'm here for you through ups and downs. Kind of goes with the roller coaster. So here you notice that I didn't stamp that centered. So I'll just trim and a little bit crooked. So I'm using kind of a piece of pool cardstock as a guide to straighten that up. So I just trim this uh, one side and then um, kind of fix that panel to be centered and to be uh, that sentiment to be straight as well. So I'm uh, adhering the clouds using foam adhesive or foam dots, dots uh, trimming the ends of the clouds, applying some glitter pen. Next I'll add that mounting tape. I'm using 3M mounting tape. I buy those on um, huge rolls from Amazon and I know the latest one that I bought last week it was only twenty four dollars twenty two or twenty four dollars which is the cheapest that I've ever gotten so I'll post a link as well in the description of the video and as well on my blog and here we're moving to the last card and here's the little snack bar and I'll just do hello and again I need to clean my stamp here I've used it previously with black ink so I didn't want to mess up my uh, Versamark ink pad because I did that with my first one so next I'll stamp that border again this is the same border we used on the first card I stamped it with Versamark, applied some white embossing powder and heat uh, set it using the, my heat tool Next I'll adhere uh, the image, again using foam dots or foam adhesive. I'll position the clouds and then hot air balloon where I want to be to see how I like it. And um, add some foam do dots on the back and adhere it to the panel. So now trim the sides, apply the shimmer pen onto the clouds and the hot air balloon. So next I'll again, like in the previous three cards, I'm adding some foam uh, tape onto the back. Adhering that to the panel. And then I'm using again my Misty to line up that panel with my white note card. And here I'm pretty much done with all cards. So to finish them off I decided to add little sequins. So here I'm, it's very sped up here just to, uh, for you to see the positioning of the sequins. And I'm using uh, some collage medium, collage medium to adhere those sequins. So here's another close look up at the cards. So thanks for joining me today um, in this um, card making video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well visit my blog and subscribe to my blog. Thanks for watching and see you soon in another video. Bye!